My name is Takto Ikeda. I am a second year in high school who loves handicraft. To prove how much I love handicraft, oh, let's see. I use most of the money I earned from my part-time job on that, and I sew all day when I don't have anything. I know I'm quite plain, but I actually have a girlfriend, and I spend a happy school life. Usami, uh, let's go home together. I found a delicious crepe shop, so I thought we can go together. Um, okay, sure. Yay! I started dating Usami half a year ago. She was a popular girl with a bright personality, and she even came to talk to a nerdy introvert like me. She's a girlfriend way too good for a boy like me. And it was almost Uzami's birthday. I was making a handmade scarf for her since I was quite good at handicraft. I like this over here and there, done. I wonder if she'll be happy. And then after school on Uzami's birthday. What did you want to tell me? I have plans after this today. Um, I couldn't spend time with you today, so I thought I might want to give you a present at least. What? Really? A present? I'm so happy! A scarf! Please use it! See, you know how I like handicraft? So I made it myself! Mm hmm? You made it yourself? So it's hand-knitted, right? Y yeah I hope you like it, but- Huh? Are you messing with me? What? A hand-knitted present? Did you think I will be happy with something like that? Uh, Uzami. I don't need this. What? Handmade? How lame. Break up with me right away. I, I'm sorry. You don't like it? Of course I don't. Such a cheap looking thing won't suit me. You don't even know that. Ugh, you're really a disappointment. Well, it's a good opportunity to tell you this now, so I'll say it, but I already have a new boyfriend. Huh? A boyfriend? Right. He's a rich university student. If he were to give me a scarf, it would have been a brand name one. Hey, wait a second. But I'm your boyfriend, right? So you were cheating on me? Got a problem with that? Of course I do. Why would you do such a thing? First of all, you're too stingy. I, the popular girl, am going out with a nerdy introvert like you. You know, you know you're supposed to pay for each date, right? But, but I do pay for our meals. Huh? You thought that was enough? I'm going on a date with a nerd like you, so you're supposed to pay for everything. What? Well, anyway, I'm finally able to break up with you. Honestly, I didn't even like you to begin with. Then why did you go out with me? Isn't it obvious? For the money, idiot. You don't have friends, and you're always working, so I thought you had money. But then, you were extremely stingy. I was hoping I'd get a good birthday present, so I kept you, but... Ugh, you were a disappointment. No, no way. Uh, why did she have to say that much? It was then. Oh? You don't need it. Huh? M uh, Miss Hashimoto! Sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I came back to get something I forgot and I heard you two by coincidence. Ai Hashimoto is a beautiful girl who's the Madonna of our class. She was kind to everyone and was thus loved by everyone around her. So, you really don't need that scarf? Ugh, I don't need it. It's so lame. It's garbage. And you'll break up with Takto? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't need such a stingy guy like him anymore. Oh, okay then. The scarf and Takta, they're both mine now, okay? Huh? Huh? I mean, you don't need him, right? Fine, do what you want. You've got bad taste. I don't care what you say about me, you too. I don't care even if you regret your decisions, okay? Ew, I have plans with my boyfriend, so I'm leaving. Uh, um, Miss Hashimoto. Huh? What's wrong, Takta? Um, you defended me, right? Thank you. Are you misunderstanding something? I've always liked you, you know, Takta? What? Why? You're good at handicraft, right? 
<laughs> That's true, but... I like handicraft, too. We have the same hobbies, so... The High was always interested in you. But was it... Around summer? You started going out with Izami, right? Y yeah So it was hard to go talk to you. But now that you two broke up, I thought it was fine. I want to be your girlfriend. Is that... okay? Uh, um... I'm honestly really happy that Miss Hashimoto is saying this to me, but... Sorry, I was just dumped by my girlfriend, so I can't think about it right now. Okay, then... can we start as friends? We have the same hobbies, and I want to get along with you. That, I would love to. Because there wasn't anyone who liked handicraft around me, I was honestly very happy to hear that. Like this, we started off as friends. After that... Tacto, look! The dolphin is adorable! It, it is, isn't it? I, who's all excited about it, is the one who's cute. We often went out together after school and on holidays. And today, we were at the aquarium. Handicraft is fun, but going out like this is enjoyable too, isn't it? Yeah, I do get a lot of inspiration by looking at other things. Maybe I want to try making a dolphin stuffed animal. What? Really? I want to see that if you make it. I'll give it to you after I make it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, l uh, let's go to the next. Oh, yeah. Where do you want to go? Um, how about the penguins? Awesome. Let's. The penguin area is over there. Uh, whoops. Are you okay? Yeah, there are a lot of people, but we have to be careful not to get separated. Yeah, uh, then... Uh, uh, let's stay like this until we get through the crowd. Y yeah I hope my hands aren't too sweaty. Takta, your hands are big and warm. R really They're comfortable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that day, we were holding hands until it was time to go home. Even after that, we had handicraft sessions and went out together often. After two months had passed, I was able to see I and her many different expressions. Sometimes she was angry, sometimes happy, sometimes laughing. And as we spent and enjoyed more time together, I realized that I was getting more and more attracted to her. And then one day, after I finished my class duty, I was trying to get back to the classroom. I is waiting for me in the classroom. I gotta hurry. That was when... T takto Usami. I need to talk to you. I... I realized that I still had feelings for you. Please... Let's get back together. Well, well, why all of a sudden? I mean, listen. He was terrible. I thought he was rich and all that, but he actually had a huge debt. Huh? He always paid for the dates in the beginning and even gave me many presents. But when I lent him money one day when he said he forgot his wallet, he ran away without giving it back. And the presents he gave me weren't brand name ones at all. They were all fake. Isn't that just terrible? Yeah, that is terrible, but... Right? If that was going to happen, I realized that you were better. You at least paid for all the food. Better, huh? After all, she loves my money, not me myself. Then after being betrayed by him. Comfort me. <sighs> you deserved all of that. I'm not giving Takto back to you. What? Um, I... I saw you two talking from the window, and I heard your conversation. I like Takto. You said you don't need him, right? I'm never going to give him to you. What? But you two aren't even a couple, right? We're not, but... <sighs> Takto isn't dating you because he still has feelings for me. Of course he won't go liking someone else right away after breaking up with me. <gasps> right, Takto? I know I'm saying the truth. I do like I... Huh? First off, what do you mean we just broke up? It's been two months already. You... <laughs> You're terrible! If you really liked me, your feelings shouldn't change in just two months! So you didn't really like me, did you? I did, but after you dumped me like that, I don't think I was able to keep those feelings. 
Besides, you've been cheating on me while we were still dating. I think you have no say in this. <laughs> Tacto. I'm so sorry for running away from facing you. I was scared that our relationship right now will break. After I confessed her love to me in the very beginning, she continued to wait for me without pushing or forcing me. Like this, as I continued spending time with I, who cared deeply about me, I got attracted to her. It's about time I move forward. I like you, I. I'm so happy. I like you too. Hey, hey, wait a second. I'm hurt over here. Why can't you guys be a little kinder to me? Uzami, you said just now that your boyfriend betrayed you, right? Yeah, that's why I need someone to be kind to me right now. But you also betrayed me, right? I felt the same way you are right now. B but that's... Either way, I don't plan on getting back with you. No, please. I lent my boyfriend money so I don't have any left. Please, at least lend me some money. No, I can't. You should go around finding a job instead of wasting your time asking me for that. No way! And with a slumped back, Uzami disappeared back into the school building. I, like I said just now, I like you, but I still have my worries. Huh? You said that you were interested in me because we had the same hobbies, but if that's so, I think there are many others who are better for you. What? No! You're wonderful, Tacto. But I just don't understand why you like me that much. It worries me. Right. I understand. Well then, I'll explain it properly. Properly? The truth is, we used to go to the same kindergarten. Huh? Back then, my mother was a single mother and we were very poor. Even in the winter, I used to wear thin clothes and I was really cold. That was when you gave me a scarf, Takto. Uh, could that be? You gave me the first scarf that you ever made. That's right, back then. Because my parents liked handicraft, I took an interest in it when I was in kindergarten. When I made my very first scarf, I was so happy that I even took it to kindergarten. But then, I saw a girl who looked very cold and gave her that scarf. I haven't forgotten the warmth I felt back then. It was a precious scarf to you, but you gave it to me. That warmth is still a very important memory to me. I... But right after that, my parents remarried and were not poor anymore. But... We moved right after my parents got married, and I couldn't say thank you. So, I wanted to thank you properly. Could it be that you tried to come find me? Yeah, because we moved to the neighboring town, I chose the high school here so that I can meet you and say thank you. When I found out that you actually came to this school and when we were put in the same class in our second year, I really thought it was fate. But before I realized it, you were dating Uzami, so I couldn't make any moves. Even after you broke up, I didn't want to trigger your scars. I've always been in love with you. Please believe that. Uh, yeah, I will. Really? I want to believe and trust you, I. You care about me this much. I love you. Please be my girlfriend. Of course. I love you too. With that, we started dating each other. And then after that... Tacto! Um... Tacto! Let's eat lunch together! How about the roof? What? Uh, I... I don't want anyone to take you away! She... She's so cute! Uzami sometimes tried to come talk to me, but I would always disrupt it like this. I love you, I. I will never fall in love with someone else. We live a sweet, lovey-dovey high school life like this. I know we get some cold stares from the people around us, but who cares? We did get separated once, but we are now together. Maybe we are tied with the red thread. I mean, the red yarn of fate. Hi! It's me, Mel! Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!